In this video, we will explore focal nodular hyperplasia of the liver, FNH in short. We'll find out what it is, what are the symptoms, its diagnosis, treatment, and whether or not it's associated with estrogen in pregnancy. Looking at this cartoon, in this corner of the liver, I have drawn an FNH. It is made up of small liver cells, which are congregated somewhat abnormally due to developmental or a localized area of trauma that is not direct trauma but aberration of the tissue itself such as such as the blood supply and very commonly it demonstrates a scar in the middle which is also evident on the scans it is an entirely benign condition it has no potential for cancer and it tends to be less than five centimeters in size and it's present in about less than one percent of the population. In terms of symptoms, it actually does not cause any symptoms at all. It's only when a scan is performed, such as an ultrasound or a CT scan for any other reason, that is when an FNH is discovered. Very rarely it may cause non-specific abdominal pain if it is of a large enough size, but this is quite rare. How do you diagnose this condition? And almost always this is done with scans and the most sensitive scan in this situation is an MRI of the liver as demonstrated over here when contrast material is used which highlights the FNH with the central scar and once diagnosed this should allay any concerns around the likely cause of such lumps in the liver. CT and contrast ultrasounds may all also be utilized but MRI is preferred. It's rare but sometimes it may not be differentiated from another condition of the liver called adenoma or less commonly an HCC which is hepatocellular cancer in which case sometimes a biopsy may be performed where tissue is ob obtained directly from that area and examined under a microscope. So what is the treatment of this condition? We have demonstrated without a shadow of the doubt on the scans this is an FNH or the patient is suffering from an FNH no treatment and no surveillance is required. Very rarely if it is of a large enough size and it's causing symptoms then surgery may be contemplated to remove it and in some places interruption of the blood supply by inserting catheters along the artery to an FNH may shrink it as well and finally it has not been associated with estrogen or with pregnancy and it should cause no concerns at all in that department this completes this brief video on FNH if you have any comments please do share